Captain. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Lurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Am I going to need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Food in front, dock and back. The bait shop. Guns, guns, and more guns. My grandpappy had a suit of power armor. In ages. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened to him? He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Where can I find this farm? Follow the coastline to the north. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit! Mainlander like you stands no chance against the crawlers. Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? Who said I was a detective? Mayor Avery said that someone new had arrived on the island investigating a missing person. That must be you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Who's the victim? Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Is this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. 
Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Condensers myself. We're not alone here. the island catch you off guard. You eyeing me, Mainlander? Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? He didn't make it. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. I can do to help? Don't know if you've chatted up the Mariner, but she's always looking for help. I know Cassie Dalton was asking around, but, uh, oh well, judge for yourself there. Thanks. Glad I can help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. You need it? The bait shop's got it. The fog. It's dangerous, okay?
Is that a problem? Not at all. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? Pff, you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Deem, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I trace the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. <laughs> I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe. When suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself. And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? One heck of a get up, Blue. What was that? Hey! They're here! 
Blue, we're not alone. What can I do? Looking for something specific? If we kill any more of the children of Adam, there could be war, Alan. Just stop this. This ain't some innocent, Avery. This is a damn saboteur. Those condensers down by the freshwater. The storm didn't take them out. She did. Machete Mike spotted. I... but... the children... It's like I've been saying. The children of Adam are out to kill us all. This here saboteur meant to cut us off from food and water. Punishment is pretty clear, Captain. Do what you must. Yeah! Children bastards! You were right, Alan. Now will you listen to sense? The children of Adam need to be wiped clean off this island. You've had your blood today. I can't stomach any more of it. All of you. Show's over. Go home. Mariner says on. the island's alive. That's some firepower it's got there. It in for us. my guns now? Ours now. been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. 
Well earned. And now to work on the hull. Here for trade? Show me what you got. You got it. You are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? Good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Why are some harbormen so hostile to outsiders? Most of the folk on this rock believe they've been given the God-given right to walk here. The way I figure it, if you got the moxie to survive, you earned your place. I'll hear you out. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this? Well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Mire Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. What you got for me? Probably have something you can use. <laughs> 